are extremely happy that you can join us today for Alicia, Pyle, Anameha, and Meha's r and throne. These young ladies have been looking forward to this day for so many months. An r and throne is the debut performance of an Indian classical dancer with ancient roots dating back to more than 2,000 years ago. r and throne literally means ascending to the stage. It is what every birth Nantum dancer aspires to achieve by undergoing very rigorous and disciplined training by their guru for many years. However, this is not an end for the student, but just the beginning of the mastery of an art, which reflects one's continual search for something greater than one's mundane own existence. And personally, nearly every conversation I've had with my sister um, over the past several months has centered around this day. It's a really important experience for every dancer here. Um, and I've learned so much more about her about her wonderful fellow dancers, and of course, about our own guru, Amina Patel. Um, and I've learned a lot of both embarrassing and endearing quirks that I will share with joy throughout this program. Oh, I definitely have some stories to share as well, but we'll come back to that later. Now to begin, let's join the musicians in a Ganesha prayer, followed by an offering of flowers to Lord Nutbranch.
come and do a flower offering to Lord Metro. We would now like to welcome Rina Andi and Magmi Andi, mothers of two of our wonderful dancers, to the stage. Alicia's mom. Hi, I'm Madhvi and Meha's mom. I wanted to start by saying thank you to everyone for joining us today in celebrating Alicia, Anu Meha, Meha and Piles Arangetram. For the many of you that have traveled far to come and support the girls on this auspicious occasion, we feel blessed. It's hard to imagine that the Arangetram Day has already arrived. Although the planning for the event started only 10 months ago, these girls have been awaiting this milestone for the day they started learning how to dance. From the Saturday morning practices to the countless spring festival performances, Bharatnatyam and Nitya Angna Dance Academy has been a pivotal part of their lives. They have not only learned the fundamentals of classical dancing, but have developed lifelong personal skills along the way. As they matured in their training, they learned the challenges of working individually as well as in a group. Through hours of practice, we've seen how much effort Bharatnatyam truly requires. As parents, we are incredibly proud of our daughter's journey, and we are thankful for Amna's continued commitment and dedication towards their success and training. Before we, begin, before we begin with the performance, Rina and I have a few words of advice we would like to share with the girls. First and foremost, we are very proud. The four of you have worked your hardest and we know that your performance will definitely show your diligence towards dance. The time and effort that you all have put into dance for these past 10 years will be useful long after this Arangetam performance. Today just marks the beginning of many ways that you girls will use your strong skills. Always remember the joy that this art form has brought to you and try to share that with, other, with, with others throughout your lives. Secondly, remember the friendship you have cultivated through dance. As mothers, nothing makes us happier than seeing, your, than seeing our four girls becoming like sisters. Continue to stay in touch and never forget how important of a role you all have played in each other's lives. In addition, don't forget all that Angana Auntie has done for you. Just like her, we encourage you to be as involved in whatever you are passionate about. And lastly, on this day, we want to remind you to smile and be confident in your abilities. Remember all of your effort that went into making this day possible and trust that your skills will make this a performance you will never forget. Thank you again and hope you enjoy the performance. Next, Serena and I's very own guru, Angana Patel, will say a few words. Good afternoon and a very warm 
warm welcome to you all on this very auspicious occasion of Alpanumeha's Arangetram. By Alpanumeha, I mean Alisha, Payal, Anumeha, and of course Neha. Every day saying uh, Alisha, Anumeha, Payal, I come up with this acronym and it works well. So throughout my speech, if you hear me saying Alpanumeha, you know I'm referring to the four beautiful dancers. About 13 students have done their Arangetrams over the last 10 years, and today, with great pride and joy, we present four more very talented young students in the debut performance known as Arangetram. This is a very unique Arangetram for Rityangana Dance Academy because this is the very first time we have four students performing together. And it is also the 10th of our dance school's Arangetram. An Arangetram is an intimate offering of a student's dedication, hard work, perseverance, and understanding of the inherent spiritual value of this oldest classical dance form. It is this spiritual component that carries the viewers from everyday consciousness to a transcendent experience with the divine. Bharatanatyam, an ancient classical art of dance, is the dance of mind, body, and soul that uplifts the dancer and beholder to a higher level of spiritual consciousness. It combines a sense of spirituality with artistic expression using very precise hand gestures, body movement, and facial expressions. What makes this dance form different than other dance forms is the fact that this dance is based on shastras, has definite rules and regulations, requires mental and physical discipline, and most importantly, requires regular hours of rigorous training and practice. At its very base is the Guru Shishya Parampara, and it is deeply grounded in bhakti. Bharatanatyam is said to be the embodiment of music in visual form, a ceremony, and an act of devotion. I was once asked by a parent how I managed to work with kids of all different ages, all different levels, all different talents, and all different capabilities, and yet keep them together and make them dance together. Instinctively, the answer was, I'm blessed with God's grace. I feel that there is a greater truth and value in keeping the diverse talent united by fostering a sense of camaraderie and equanimity among my students from a very young age. All my students appreciate each other's talent and learn to complement each other in a non-competitive manner, yet competing within themselves to strive to be their very best. Today's performance by Alisha, Anumeha, Payal, and Meha is a true testament of unity, purity of soul, perseverance, and patience. I feel that one searches for meaning in their life by doing work that gives them joy and solace to others, that creates beauty and enriches one's community in some way. For me, that work happens to be teaching Bharatanatyam. When I see a student smiling after working hard and mastering a difficult step, when an audience member tells me they never knew Bharatanatyam could be so meaningful, when the kids tell me that learning Bharatanatyam is cool, it makes my efforts worthwhile. Dance in general is a tool rich and powerful which one can use in any way one wants to. Dance is a form of non-verbal communication. It is this creative exploration that helps a better communication of one's emotions. It is viewed as a bridge between both cultures, ancient and modern, which explores a unique style of living poetry on the stage. I truly believe in preserving and retaining old art in contemporary form to retain the past, to enhance the present, and inspire the future. It is only through the support of committed parents, dedicated and obedient students, 
supportive community of friends and family, that an event like Arangetram can be witnessed in Albany year after year. I applaud you, the audience, in being an integral part of celebrating the accomplishments of our younger generation and their quest of keeping the traditional and cultural heritage alive, which will be passed on to generations to come. I truly appreciate your kind presence and hope you will enjoy today's performance. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you. Namaskar. the Divine Lord of Dance, and to Bhumi, Mother Earth, especially important given all the enthusiastic stamping on the floor involved. The Ganesh Vandana is performed in honor of Lord Ganesha. Lord Ganesha is one of the most widely worshipped Hindu deities and is known as a remover of all obstacles. He is called upon the start of every new undertaking. This piece was actually choreographed by two of our very own dancers, Mayan Pyle, so it is something completely brand new and I'm sure it will be very exciting. Enjoy.
just yet, though maybe I'll slip up and reveal it later. Don't want to date myself too much. Um, but it's just so exciting to be back here on this stage um, performing a totally different function. Um, now the dancers will move on and they will perform Alaripu, which is the next piece. Um, Alaripu means a blossoming of the mind and body, and it is the first dance that any Indian classical dancer learns. Um, this alaripu is in Ragam Natai and Thishra Ekadalam. The This beginner dance provides a crisp introduction to the basic understanding of Bharatanatyam. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. 
round of applause. <laughs> Serena, I can hardly believe that I performed that same Alari Poo at my Iron Gate Drum three years ago. I'm going to have to actually confess that I did my Iron Gate Drum eight years ago. Um, so I can also hardly believe, I can honestly hardly believe that it's been so long, let alone that I did the same exact piece on the same exact stage. Um, I know, as Bhavya does, that an Iron Gate Throne requires so much preparation, and our dancers have gotten to know each other so well during this process. And I myself um, am really excited to see everyone take a look at their journey later today um, after intermission. They put together this really funny, um, really descriptive video of everything they experienced when they were um, going through this process. So everyone should be excited to see that. Um, taking us one step closer to that, the dancers will now be performing the next piece of their margam, Jati Swaram. For those who might not know, a margam is the traditional structure and collection of dances for a bard nakyam arangetra. This particular Jati Swaram is in Ragam Ragamalika and Mishra Japutalam. Jati Swaram is an example of Shuddha Nritta, pure dance, where the dancers exhibit their command over beautiful and complicated dance patterns. Nritta describes technical dance movement as a visual depiction of rhythm. This is actually my personal favorite piece. Enjoy.